In this video, I'm going to be breaking down a nice little defense that you can utilize to slow down some of the best passing concepts out of the bunch tight end formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I just want to ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, I've been talking about this defense a little bit this week. It's honestly something that is kind of new. I've been working on it uh, under the hood for the last probably week and a half and really feel very comfortable in this defense against pretty much any formation. I'm actually going to be updating the Patreon membership uh, with a little bit more of an in-depth version of this defense. We already have kind of the skeleton of the 335 wide ebook built in there, the basic level of this, but some of the specific adjustments and the updates about how you actually defend a bunch or a bunch tight end or a tight slots, for example, um, we're going to be updating the ebook with the specifics of that. So if you want to get access to that, uh, remember that you can get all of my ebooks for one price of $10 a month by joining our Patreon. I've got 18 offensive and defensive guides in the Patreon that you'll get immediate access to. You'll also gain access to all of the updates. We typically update the Patreon um, anywhere from two to four times a week with new concepts or new material uh, or just kind of finer tuning some of the ebooks. And then lastly, any new ebooks or new material that I release over the course of the time that your subscription is active, you'll be able to get immediate access to that as well. So if you really want to get better at this game, I think the Patreon membership is the best place for you to be able to do that. Um, so if you want to join the Patreon, there's a link in the description below where you can do that. And again, it's only $10 a month and gets you access to literally everything. Okay, so let's take a look here. So the defense we're taking a look here, we're in the 46 playbook, and we're going to be looking at the 335 wide cover four show two. So you see I put that in my audibles. I've talked about this before on the channel, but we want to audible down from 335 normal because we are able to put safeties here, but most importantly, we're able to cross man certain players um, or use our linebackers as cross, man's, uh, cross man adjustments whenever we need to. Okay, so we're coming out here and we're going to come out in cover four show two. Now, what I like to do as far as defending um, this, this defense here, the first step is I'm going to globally blitz, or I'm going to spread my linebackers. I'm going to globally blitz my linebackers. So you see it looks like this. And then I'm going to really important QB contain. And then from there, what I like to do with this is I actually like to go ahead and take the backside, um, the backside linebacker and put him into a curl flat zone. I'm gonna take the slot corner and I'm gonna man him up on the slot receiver, as you can see right there. If you don't wanna man him up on the slot receiver, that's fine. What I would then recommend is put him in the purple zone or just shade up out of quarters. And then you're going to take the linebacker and man him up on the circle receiver. So you can do either of those adjustments and you're still gonna be fine. And then the next thing that you wanna do within this is I personally think it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and bluff blitz the defensive end on the right side of the screen. So you see that you get this three rack. And then the real key here is that we're gonna get this contain uh, from this outside player. And then um, the other little piece of this that you can do is you can take one of these guys, put them in a flat, flat zone. If you don't wanna do that, then my recommendation would be to bluff blitz the backside defensive end and then uh, curl flat zone the defense to the, the running back side guy. So you see there, that's what we get. The beauty of three through five wide with the D ends is you get really good adjustments. You can go vert hook, you can go um, seam flat, curl flat, all of that stuff. Okay, so this is kind of the basic coverage. Now, the key with this is when they try to roll out with their quarterback, you're going to see here that he's going to instant shed. So it's going to make it more difficult for them to roll out. It's not impossible to roll out on this, but it certainly is much, much more difficult. So that's kind of part A um, in terms of that. So again, we're just going to crash our line up, spread our linebackers, blitz our linebackers, and then from there, we're gonna make our coverage adjustments. And again, you can do, you can kind of, there's multiple ways that you can slice it. One of my favorite little things to do here um, is to man up the slot on that, that, um, that outside receiver, and then just purple both defensive ends and bluff blitz. So now I've got contain uh, off of both edges here. And then I've got the purple zones for the underneath stuff. And really your primary responsibility in this against like a boot over, you'll see we got, oh, he's got to stay in the pocket. Um, and then as you can see there, it plays it pretty well, right? The purple plays that, that deep. And really with boot over in general, um, if you can keep the quarterback in the pocket, 
you're going to find that you're going to win a lot of battles just by doing that one thing. So again, we're going to keep the quarterback in the pocket with those two contains, and then we can go ahead and purple, purple, and then bluff blitz down there. And then that gives us the slot corner who we can put in man coverage on any of the receivers as well as the backside running back, which is a really cool little adjustment as well. So this time, for example, we're going to man him up onto circle. And what you'll see now is this is probably the best adjustment um, because they can't roll out. No, okay. Then you've got that crossed, and then you got the crosser taken, and then even the deep post here is going to be a difficult throw. Okay. Now another little thing that you'll see, and this is why I like the double contain from the linebackers, specifically against bunch tight end. Okay. I don't do this against pretty much any other formation, but bunch tight end it makes a lot of sense to do this defense against. Um, there's a couple other ones I do it against, but this is the primary one. So. Part of the reason why I like these double contains is because one of the things that you're going to see them do is they're going to go like this. They're going to go here, and then they're going to try to go back here, and then they're going to try to go up here. But the beauty of this is you're kind of you're kind of putting the quarterback in a box as best as you can because you have the two contains on the outside, and then you have the purple zones. Those purple zones are my favorite thing in the game to contain, and so much so that I'm going to give you an additional setup. This is more for if they're not if they're not rolling out as much. Uh, out of bunch tight end, which if you're not rolling out of bunch tight end, more than likely you're not running it properly. But if if they aren't, here's what you can do. Uh, we're just going to simply purple, um, or we're in this coverage right here. We're just going to simply shade our coverage up, and then we're going to man up the linebacker here, and then we're going to bluff blitz the backside guy. So you see here, this is what this looks like. The reason I like this adjustment is because you still have two curl flats for them if they roll out. They can get out of the pocket, though. So you see here, he can get out of the pocket, and then he can kind of try to make some stuff happen. But the routes are pretty much still bagged, okay? So they're still not really that open. Now, um, I want to talk about the Civil Bomb, uh, which he has been running pretty much all year, one of the best bombs in the game. It's basically this right here. You can also zig that slot. So with the initial covers that I was talking about where we blitz our linebackers so that we can keep some, keep some contain, and then we go with the purples, and then we have this guy. If you're manned up on the slant, what that does is it kind of cues the match coverage that they don't have to be as concerned with the with the slant route. So you'll see here, he's manned up, and then now you'll see here that that inside safety does come back on that. Now in that case, he did get a little bit over the top, but I want to show you one other thing that you can do with this. And this is where that secondary adjustment comes in. And really the secondary adjustment is something that you can use. It just kind of depends on tendency. If they're willing to take their check down to, to the circle receiver, again, that's why I like to man them up. But if they're not willing to take that, that check down, um, if they're not willing to take that check down or if they're just trying to bomb you, instead of manning up the circle receiver, because you've already got a purple zone that's going over there in that side of the field, obviously your user could easily just run to this, by the way, too, because it's you know because you have the contain, you have the wheel bagged, you have the out route bagged, and then you could just kind of help over the top. The other thing, though, is this. So let's say you get something like this. Here we get actually really, really good D, and they try to bomb you that way. You see that, by and large, um, another little thing you could do is take that slot and just man him up on, on, on that guy. Um, that's another really easy adjustment with this. My favorite thing to do, honestly, though, is to simply run um, the base setup, which is this. So here, purple, purple. I think shading up does help um, a little bit with the coverage. And then what you can also do with this backside guy, one of the, one of the more underrated things of this adjustment is you could easily take this guy here and man him up on certain players. You could, I mean, there's ways that you can kind of craft the coverage a little bit more for the situation that you're in. But against this, and again, remember, you can always just run to it. If you once you see that that slot's on the street, it's pretty much obvious they're going to try to bomb you. So you can just run to it. Now we'll have a lot more, significantly more time here. But what you'll notice is this becomes a little bit more tender of a throw. Okay. Um, another little way that you can combat the bomb, like I said, is again, we're not taking into consideration the fact that you have a user. Okay. So you know the fact that you have a user is going to help significantly. And then also just man, man it up. I mean, you can just do that. I mean, something as simple as that. You take that slot corner and you man him up on this. Now what that's, what that's going to mean more so than anything is it's just going to give you a little bit more of a, a tighter coverage. Because really the coverage is there. It's just a little loose, 
right? So you go to something like this, your user here, the wheel's taken away, and then you see here, I mean, you can kind of help shadow that, but that's gonna be a tight throw because the wheel is literally running the route into the post, if you think about it. So you, get, you have that ability to do that as well. And then uh, the last thing that I wanna say about the bomb concept that you can try um, is you could take, again, take this guy right here, man him up on the inside slot, and then what you can do on the backside here is you got the two purple zones for a contain, and then you've got the three rec on the running back side. And if you if you if you have that, typically what that what that will do is it will basically take that DN on the right and kind of man him up on the running back in a way. So you see here, he didn't quite go where we wanted him to go here. But again, you're getting back, you're getting depth, you're getting depth, and you see, I mean it's just tight throw. If you if you use her like you're supposed to on this. It's not a super open throw. And then the last thing that I wanted to, actually I got two more concepts that I wanted to break down. This first one will be really simple to break down, but it's just the corner route to the left. So the beauty of being in match is if they if they try to run a corner route to the right or to the left, there's not a, it's, it's not open. It really isn't. So um, you've got your setup, you've spread your linebackers, and then, you know, again, just to kind of, if you're wanting to keep contain, Go ahead and globally blitz them and QB contain them. And then you can drop these guys in the middle here into zones just like that. And then remember your slot corner, we're going to man him up, you know, on whoever. Or we're going to purple him and man up the linebacker. Oh, up to you. Whichever one, uh, whichever one that you want to do. Let's see here real quick. Oh, there we go. Okay. So this is curl flat corner. And what you'll see with this is that that corner route on the left typically is going to be a tight throw. It's going to be difficult to hit that throw consistently um, because you are in a box check to that side of the field. The other thing that I want to quickly point out about this is you don't necessarily need this guy in the contain. This guy in the contain is not as advantageous as this guy in the contain. So what you can do off of that is you can feel free to man him up on circle. You can drop this guy here in a bluff blitz and then now you've got you know what what I would probably do is something like that because um, again you don't have to worry too much about the backside rollout because you have a purple zone over there and you have you, the ability to have that three wreck in that area as well and again we know this from playing Madden 22 at this point in the season it's not automatic that if you if you um, spy or contain it's gonna work it's not automatic so um, that's just something to kind of keep in mind but here you get really good rush and then as you can see right there, that, that thing is absolutely bagged, okay? So that's that, and again, that's just the base coverage we were talking about. And then the last setup is kind of a setup that, um, it's kind of a setup that Civil will use, uh, that I've just seen him use at least from time to time. It's basically a curl concept, so we're gonna try to recreate it as best we can, kind of like something like this, um, you know, maybe putting the running back on a quick out or something, just a quick little flood. Little, little, just something to kind of change it up. Trying to really, what he's trying to do, I think, is, is kind of mess with the zone drops. If you're mabling a lot, this is a good concept. Um, this concept's not going to be super great against this defense. Um, again, we're going to set up that contain on the back side, and then we're going to have our purple. We're going to have our um, three rec, three rec hook, and then on the back side of this, we can man up that circle receiver. So now, what you're going to see here is you know pretty decent coverage across the board you've got the purple out there for the flat you've got pretty good coverage here you're just kind of kind of take that across the formation and you see it's pretty decent defense so this little concept here really does a good job against bunch tight end this defense um, again this is a, a different type of coverage it's not true quarters and it's really not it's really not true really not true quarters and it's definitely not true man at all um, really what we're trying to do with this is close off the key throwing lanes that we have, that we assume that most people are going to try to throw um, and allow our user to have freedom in the middle to have to only worry about one or two things. And it's just like that, for example, you see that that quarter's in the area. So more than likely, if you got a good player there, you can click on and at least knock it out. So anyways, guys, that's 
uh, a little bit of bunch tight end defense for you starting off your weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn more about this defensive concept, how it applies to other formations, or if you just want to get better at Madden and get all my ebooks, um, I've got 18 of them over in the Patreon. So if you want to join that, head on down to the description below and you can click the link there to go sign up for the Patreon for just $10 a month. Thanks for watching. And again, if you want to check out the Patreon, there's a link down below.